to a brand new video with Minishu, Chief of Tree, and their Season 5 of Death Battle has started, and here we are, starting with new reaction videos every month, pretty much. This time it's Black Panther, who I have heard slightly about, I guess. I know the character, but I don't know him that much. And then we have Batman, for the third time. And. It, this could be interesting, I guess. I guess these two characters have a lot in common, so... So I guess we just have to watch the analysis and say who is going to win this. But personally, I can't say who I think will win this right now. Because I know so little about Black Panther, compared to what I know about Batman, so... Yeah, about that. Let's guess. Let's just get this over with and see who's gonna win this, shall we? Okay, let's go! Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike an awe, but yeah, mostly fear. And these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Before he God, was let's the Black go. Panther, before he was a king, T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After earning numerous degrees from Harvard, Oxford, Berkeley, and MIT, T'Challa came home. His father, Wakanda's king and then current Black Panther, had been assassinated, and a new ruler needed to be named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But hey, T'Challa wasn't just a nerdy brainiac, he could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and that link bestowed him numerous superhuman abilities. Who knew getting high could turn you into a superhero? T'Challa's new powers included superhuman speed, strength, healing, and agility. His senses also dramatically increased in acuity. Not only can he see in the dark, but his superior vision can even make out infrared and ultraviolet light. So, like, the powers of a cat? Yes and no. While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, he can always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. Oh, like how we can walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. So Black Panther's super sense lets him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets, and Wakanda House is one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right, 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. And they hoarded it all to themselves, and I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars, and Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over 9 billion dollars. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno-marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. 
They were exploring outer space years before the U.S. and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther habit is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. For example, bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbs into the suit. Even the shells from a helicopter-mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called antimetal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What can this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Oh, God! Ah, but don't worry, he's fine, somehow. Under T'Challa's oh. leadership, Wakanda has Kaboom. brought off many Apparently. would invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. He can even the throw spears hit. That's through pretty stone impressive. walls. Typically, for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, and the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw off. He can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Whoa, hold on! Nice. Did he just take nice. out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got the tech, the skills, and the country to prove it. Claw, do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. Oh, okay. Throughout the so let's go back to Batman City, then. One name strikes fear into the hearts of even the most hardened of criminals. The goddamn Batman! You know who he is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his intentions. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How noble, and ironic considering he was taught to be a badass by a group called the League of Assassins. Well, he dresses like a bat, sleeps with a cat burglar, and constantly brings children into battle, so he's clearly got a few complicated issues. But let's see what he can really do. Bats is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers at all. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedowns, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control at the age of 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and Boxing. It's not every day you can find someone who can literally take you down in 127 different ways. He's also touted as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. And all that's before his handy-dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. 
a lot of which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all, too. According to Forbes, Wayne's net worth thanks to his company adds up to 9.2 billion US dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite grenades, and of course, the Batarangs. Originally designed as a boomerang weapon, Wayne eventually molded his Batarangs into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with electric shocks, flash bulbs, and explosives. And last but not least, don't forget his bat suit. It can resist fire, electricity, and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand pounds! And I thought this guy didn't have any superpowers. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. This idea generally applies to him in pretty much every area, physically and mentally. He's strong enough to break through walls, rip apart car parts, and pull out prison bars. He's quick enough to avoid gunfire and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Brucey ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference, really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. Whenever the Justice League gets in a fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are my favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. It sure does. Okay! Right, the combatants That's are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of animals has made me think about eating some with Blue Apron. Alright. We are back to Blue Apron, so I am just gonna skip that part. You don't need that right now. But anyway. Um this is interesting. Uh <laughs> I'm not sure who I think is gonna win this. Okay, I think I have an idea, but both of these characters are both capable of doing most whatever they do on their own stuff, kind of thing. Anyway, um, personally, I am think I have to go with Black Panther. Uh, it just sounds like he is the better character to me. Um, don't get me wrong, I like Batman. Like, really do like Batman. He's a really cool character and all that. But I feel like Black Panther may be the strongest of these two characters. So, yeah. Um, with that said, let's just get this over and watch this stuff all itself and see who's going to win this. And um, yeah, I guess I'm Black Panther. Let's go. And let's start. Atma is listening to music, apparently. To challenge a king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. Hmm. It looks kinda interesting so far. Yeah, we both seem to be taking up a good fight.
Oh, that goes to her. <laughs> they can't even go to five lions with that flick. Batman. And my rule is law. KO! Whoa, that's a new one. No Black gas. Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and mm -hmm. faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. The winner is Black Panther. Congrats, Black Panther. Hey guys, thanks for watching the premiere of season That was actually pretty cool. Watch the commentary on this episode, click that box right over there, start a first membership trial. And if you want the fight track, all you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Sounds pretty good. Next time. Yeah, okay, I kinda knew about this one. This was what kinda spoiled to me. But it could be interesting. So, that was that. And... This level itself was awesome! I really did enjoy it, and th let's talk about the animation first. It was really good animation, I really do enjoy really do enjoy the animation. Uh, it was really cool to watch, I must say so. Um, personally, it's a really great start on season 5. Um, the introduction itself, great. I don't see anything that's bad with it, so it's alright. And about the next time, yeah, as I said, it was spoiled for me. I was, I was scrolling down Facebook earlier at the moment I'm recording this, and I noticed it from a page that I shared next time that fall, so, uh, <laughs> spoiler, I was spoiled for that part, but it seems like an interesting match though. I mean, I love both of the characters. I know Twilight Sparkle more than I know Raiden, of course, but... It is real. It seems like it's. Well, it seems really interesting. As a match. It does seem like really interesting though. And it's coming February 26th, so we have not that long time to wait. I think I said Raven. I meant Raven. 
But anyway, um, both of these characters are really great, of course, I gotta say that. Um, personally, for the most I like both of these two is Twilight Sparks, of course. So I am looking forward to the death battle, and I might be counting with Twilight in that, that episode, but cool. Anyway, uh, that was pretty much it, and it was a great start on the, on the season 5, so pretty enjoyable. And don't forget, you can find the link to the original video in the description below. If you want to check it out without my commentary. Yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And be sure to subscribe to me in GTA for more reaction videos like this one and gaming videos. My biggest uh, focus are on gaming and reaction videos like this one. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Me and GTA signing out. <laughs>